Hey, Grace Quotes, recently was studying through Psalm number one, and Psalm one is that famous psalm that contrasts the godly and the ungodly. And it clearly identifies the godly as a man or woman who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or, or stand in the path of sinners or sit in the seat of scoffers. The godly person is a person, it says, that delights in the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord, of course, is found in the Bible. That means this individual takes no pleasure in the things that uh, does not please the Lord. There's no fascination, there's no attraction to the things that oppose Christ. But rather, this person wants to understand God better and know his ways better and bring more honor and glory in the way he or she lives uh, his or her life. So this person goes from being ungodly, rejecting God's laws, uh, to now delighting in God's laws. Uh, this person goes from maybe being religious to actually delighting in revelation, the word of God. And it says that what this person does is he or she is found meditating on the law, not just once in a while, but day and night. And what that simply means is allowing the word of God to play over and over again in your head. So the goal is simply this, Christian, that we are in the word on a daily basis. And we're not in the word out of duty. We're in the word because we delight in the scriptures, we delight to have our Savior speak to us. And when we go in the Word, we're not just doing a devotional, checking it off the list and going on our way, but rather we're finding a portion of Scripture, maybe even memorizing it, and carrying that portion of Scripture with us throughout the day. We are able to meditate, allow it again, to play over in our head throughout the entire day as we think about God's Word and allow God's Word to apply deeply into our hearts. When we do that, we will have a greater understanding of sin as God's word convicts us of sin. It will strengthen us. It will encourage our walk. It will protect us. It will give us opportunities throughout the day to praise and honor God. It's carrying the biblical text with us. We also read in Psalm 119 verse 11, your word I have treasured in my heart. So think about that this day. Have you spent time in God's word yet? And when you do so, Will you be delighting in it and treasuring it and carrying it throughout the day as you meditate on God's word day and night? Thanks again so much for your participation in this ministry. So glad you watched this video and may God bless you richly.